A couple of months ago, I reached out to We Are Rewind for them to send me one of their cassette players. And they obliged and sent me this beautiful steely black one here. I'm not sponsored to say any of this, I just genuinely wanted to take a look at this thing. Previously, if you wanted to get a cassette player, you'd have to go on eBay, hope that it still works. Some of the things you might be running up against are the sound quality, lifespan of previous used devices, and probably a few other things, including a Bluetooth connection. To pair this bad boy, all you have to do is press this uh, Bluetooth button here. You just have to hold it a couple of seconds. And what's weird is there's no screen interface happening. I'm just gonna have to tell this thing to go into Bluetooth mode to connect up to this guy. So they should talk to each other. There you go. Press play. It's pretty noisy. Listen to that white noise. Now when I was done listening to my own terrible pre-recorded YouTube audio library music, I went down to Zia Records here in Las Vegas and looked for some actually professionally produced cassettes. I've got to tell you, going to the cassette store, or it's really a movie store with cassettes there, it's kind of exhilarating. Getting to look through the shelves and like find and discover different artists was, was a great experience. It was a tiny tape section, but at least they had it. Uh, I found Tammy Wynette, Phil Collins, Pat Benatar, and David Bowie. Uh, some of these were expensive. These were like $10 cassettes, actually. There's just something about having the physical thing in your hand, knowing that like you're gonna take it home and it's got artwork on it and stuff like that. And, it's, it's, it's probably the same thing that everyone who buys record players goes through. They definitely don't sound as good as CDs or MP3 quality. Unlike television, where beta cams existed and other various types of media on tape, music was not one of them that necessarily had better quality in cassette format. Now there's other like one inch tape things that, that provide much higher bit rates, but unfortunately cassettes do not. What you're gonna hear on these is, I think you're gonna hear something called wobble. And if you go over to an excellent YouTube video on this machine in much more depth, Techmoan will take you through this machine and really talk about what the wobble is and the quality of this cassette player. Me and my girlfriend spent the afternoon listening to Phil Collins' Face Value on my Marshall Wilburn 3, and we really enjoyed the experience. There's something to be said about listening to a cassette player through the entire album and then flipping the tape over and having to kind of go through the music in a, in a linear fashion. Uh, really changes your impression of the artist and what they're trying to do with the music. They're taking you through kind of a journey. And a lot of times today, we don't get that because we're just hopping from one song to the next. So there's almost kind of like a narrative strength to listening or choosing to listen to something like this on a cassette tape. You just have to listen through it because it's too much of a pain in the ass to fast forward. Aside from your standard gamut of press buttons up here, which, oh, by the way, are very satisfying to push. It's also got the highlighted yellow record button, which if you do want to record your own mixtapes, that's the button you'd be using. It adds on the Bluetooth button here, which you just hold on to connect to things. And then on the side here, you have just a nice little volume up and down button. It's got your aux in for your headphones, or if you want to hook it up to your Marshall Wilburn 3 like I did, you can use that. It's also got this little tape button, which if you're trying to import tracks over an aux cable, that's what you'd use. And bonus points to them because they have a USB-C device here, or a cable, so that you can charge this on most modern computers or anything that can output enough of the five volts that you need to charge this with. I was very surprised to learn that for cassette tapes, there's no like locking in of the device. You just kinda drop it in and slap it and it's ready to go. It's surprisingly simple. It's not like a VHS player. In conclusion, I think this is a fascinating device. I love the build quality of it, and I love the looks. I think almost as a style piece, you get a lot of points for hauling this around. Just walking with it, imagine if you just had some cool headphones. I think that's kind of where the appeal of this is. Or if you have an old tape collection or something that you're in love with and you don't want to get rid of it. You don't listen to this necessarily for the audio quality, you listen to it for the nostalgia. So anyways, thanks for watching, and let me know what you think about this strange new vintage cassette player. I will see you guys later. Bye.